El Nino is a change in wind and ocean circulation along the equator in the Pacific that impacts weather patterns around the world. Sea surface temperatures are warmest in the tropics, where there's the most heating by the sun. Ocean currents carry heat away from the tropics toward the cooler north and south pole where they lose heat and moderate Earth's climate. Notice the cooler water on the equator. This is caused by upwelling. Normally, trade winds blow along the equator from east to west, driving warm surface water westward. Cooler deep water upwells behind it in the east and along the equator, bringing nutrients up to the surface. Like tilling a garden, upwelling fertilizes microscopic algae in the ocean, visible by their green pigment, chlorophyll. These phytoplankton feed the whole marine food web, including productive fisheries, such as near Peru. But some years, upwelling stops, and fishermen off Peru notice a collapse of the fisheries. They call the phenomenon El Nino because it peaks around Christmas time. From satellites, we see less chlorophyll during El Nino, meaning less phytoplankton and less food for fish and other sea life. Marine iguanas, Galapagos penguins, and others starve or move away to find food elsewhere. Looking at temperature anomalies, or differences from the 30-year average, we watch El Nino form as warmer water from the West Pacific moves eastward to the Central and East Pacific. It happens roughly every five years when the normal trade winds weaken or change direction, but scientists still can't predict El Nino more than a few months ahead. El Nino impacts the food web and it also impacts weather around the world. For example, it is linked to more rain in California, but less rain in Southeast Asia. For more information, visit climatebits.org.